the last three minutes and 35 seconds of his life. Earlier this month, Christy Sanders was on the phone with her husband the moment he was hit by a truck. He later died. The family says his trailer disconnected from his truck. He was pulled over on the southbound lane of Interstate 430 when a woman entering the highway from Stagecoach hit him. Only on Fox 16, Rebecca Jeffrey speaks to his wife about his final moments and why she believes the investigation is not complete. Rebecca. Good evening, Kevin and Donna. We were with Christy as she walked through the area for the first time where her husband was hit and killed. She believes it wasn't done on purpose, but wants a deeper look into this case that started with a call she'll never forget. As cars speed by, time stops for Christy Sanders. He was hit right here from the report. Searching for evidence, a piece of her husband, maybe even the phone he was on when he took his last breath. The call was three minutes and 35 seconds. And Christy was on the other end. He was panicked. He said the trailer's off the truck. Christy says her husband, Robert, was returning home to Hot Springs from a job site. His trailer disconnected from his truck here on 430 in Little Rock. On the phone, he told Christy he'd pull over, along with some other drivers who had flat tires, who he said he was going to help. And you hear him say, what is that truck doing? Christy says he was on the shoulder of the highway. He said, hold on just a minute, baby. And a few seconds later, the phone goes silent. I called him 66 more times. Talk to me. Now sitting at their favorite park in Little Rock, she feels corners were cut in her husband's investigation. Things just aren't adding up. And I would love for somebody to sit down with me and show me why I'm wrong to give me closure. She says some evidence like a urine sample by the driver who hit her husband and items left at the scene weren't handled properly or investigated thoroughly by Arkansas State Police, leaving Christy and her friends and family to look for their own answers. Oh my God, I found it. <laughs> It's her husband's cell phone. <laughs> a small symbol of hope found on a highway full of heartbreak. <laughs> oh, baby. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I told Robert's cell phone would record conversations, so now that the family has it back, they'll be working to get those off of the phone and see if it reveals anything new about the night that he died. Donna and Kevin. Wow, that's quite emotional that she found that phone at the time when she did. My goodness. Has the family brought these concerns up to uh, Arkansas State Police? Anything specifically that they want to see done? What can you, what can you tell us? Well, Donna, ASP is certainly very aware of the family's concerns. Christy says that every time she tries to file a formal complaint, she's sent to another supervisor, and she says they have acknowledged that the urine sample from the driver was not submitted to the crime lab in a timely manner. They're working on that now, but Christy wants to know what exactly, where exactly her husband was hit on the highway, if it was on the road, on the shoulder, where he was, and any other details that they'll be able to give her about that night and that accident. Our hearts break for the family. All right, Rebecca, thank you.